I'm just a simple man standing alone with my brushes asking God for inspiration. A quote from Peter Paul Rubens. Peter Paul Rubens, born June 28, 1577, and died May 30, 1640. Peter Paul Rubens is considered one of the influencers and some say one of the best artists to use the style Baroque, alongside Caravaggio and Rembrandt. Baroque painting style can be defined as a style that emphasized movement, color, and sensuality. Peter Paul Rubens enjoyed painting the human body in various dramatic and contorting positions, and his bodies were usually draped in exotic materials or naked. And to many people, Peter Paul Rubens was one of the few artists that at that time mastered such technique. Rubens' early life was influenced by many things such as religion, government, and family. Rubens was born into a family of six. His father, Albertus Rubens, and mother, Maria Hendricks Jan Piperlings, had no idea they had created such a talented artist, which would overshadow all his siblings and would have the spotlight of the Rubens family till this day. As he became an adult, he later married Isabella Brandt, which he later divorced, and at a later time married Helena Foreman. Altogether, Peter Paul Rubens had eight children. Talk about not wasting time. During Rubens' stay in the Netherlands, he was exposed to Spanish culture. At that time, the Netherlands was under Spanish control. This exposed Rubens to Spanish religion, which later was seen in his artwork. Peter Paul Rubens was able to travel to Italy, Spain, and Belgium. As he explored all through Europe, he picked up many techniques, ideas, and was able to meet many skilled painters. Peter Paul Rubens did many art pieces for very important people at that time, such as Philip III, Duke of Lerma, and the Roman Church. The art piece that I will interpret is the Rape of the Daughters of Lucifer. This artwork was made in 1618 on oil and canvas, which measures 224 by 210.5 centimeters, and now is located in Altec Pinochet Munich. The painting shows two white-skinned women that are completely naked, two men, one riding a horse, and the other dismounted. The background shows green hills and a blue cloudy sky. Many people's first impressions of the artwork may be a sense of chaos, drama, fear, vulnerability, disturbance, and violence. To break down such an impactful image, I will be using religion, government, and sexuality. Peter Paul Rubens was exposed to religion at a young age, which then he carried into his future artwork. In the 16th century, most of Europe was Christian Catholic. As Rubens traveled to Rome, he completed his first altarpiece commission, Saint Helena with the True Cross, for the Roman Church of Santa Croce. As focused as Rubens was in religion, he veered off into mythology when creating the Rape of the Daughters of Lucifer. The two men in the painting are Castor and Pollux. Castor was the mortal son of Tyndareus, the king of Sparta, while Pollux was the divine son of Zeus. Both men fell in love with the twin sisters, Phoebe and Hilaria. The problem was that the sisters were already committed to a marriage. But that didn't stop the brothers Castor and Pollux, as they abducted both females and brought them back to Sparta, thus starting a family feud. Within this image, strength and weakness is shown alongside with a sexual aspect. Strength can be seen as the two men, Castor and Pollux, are well fit and overpowering the two females. Weakness is shown as the two females, Feoda and Hilaria, 
are shown to be too weak to stand up and overpower Castor and Pollux. The sexual aspect can be seen due to the naked female bodies and how detailed Reuben made it. With now knowing the background of the story, you can see the despair and the disgust of both sisters as they are taken away by force. Peter Paul Rubens lived during the time period where arranged marriage was something common, especially in wealthy families to keep royal blood in power. Some critics say that Peter Paul Rubens' motivation for creating the rape of the daughters of Lucifer was a stand against arranged marriage. The figures in the paintings are carefully put together in a messy but strategically placed so that all movement is contained within the group, enhancing its effect as a free movement and soft touch painting. The explicit violence of the act is also set off by the tranquility of the beautiful blue sky and the rolling landscape in the background. As Fernando Villacasa explained in his artwork called The Renaissance, Ruben aimed to depict the beauty of the life in these artworks as it was in the realistic term, but not without the common emotional aspect as he wanted his viewers to ponder. Pollux and Castor pop out with warm skin colors and making both women white skinned as if to make them look pure and divine in such a chaotic scene. Other critics say that Rubens is merely illustrating the woman's elevation to divine status, as they are literally and figuratively raised up to the heavenly heights. Making the two sisters with such graphic detail suggests that Rubens' intentions was to bring the artwork some sexual attention, making it seem as if Castor and Pollux saw the two sisters as nothing more than a sexual trophy. The picture that I have created was inspired by Peter Paul Rubens. Rubens was a devoted Catholic and followed many other artists into the Renaissance by making his artwork have mythology, religion, aspects, and human ideology. I took that into consideration and decided to start off by having the background be clouds, referring that Peter Paul Rubens is in heaven. The two figures in the left can be identified as two Greek gods, which are posing for a portrait made by Peter Paul Rubens. At the right you have Peter Paul Rubens himself, painting the two gods on a canvas. Having done many paintings for churches around the world, I imagine Rubens' excitement after seeing in person the religious figures he once drew off of memory and pictures with such detail. As Peter Paul Rubens once said, my passion comes from the heavens, not from earthly musings. Rubens' style contains a great deal of detail that surpasses even the most influential artist of his time. He had a vivid imagination and was successful in transforming the Baroque style into an international form. Now with his artwork display around the world, Many say that his art paintings are too graphic, but during the 1600s, being able to bring to life religious characters from the Bible by painting had an impact on how people saw and believed in gods. Being able to bring angels, gods, and mythological characters, and making them seem human using a style and painting technique brought Rubens a lot of attention. Not only was Rubens one of the most famous and well-known artists of his time, he was also well-known for his accomplishments outside of art. He created one of the most famous studios in Antwerp of that time. Not only did his studio produce some of the finest art pieces during his lifetime, but he also introduced many new and talented artists to the world who worked for Rubens in his studio, which carried on his legacy. With all his success, many have tried to mimic his style, but there will only be one Peter Paul Rubens.
What influenced Peter Paul Rubens to paint? <laughs> 